So, <laughs> my WhatsApp has been going mad about people asking. I, I don't know what depth. A lot of the guys want to know what depth the Gielbeck is coming through. Um, what depth and um, how to recognize. If you see a person's catch, how to recognize um, whether the guy actually fish which area. You don't need a mark. You just need to know in the vicinity, you know. So, fish are basically in Durban. In the years that I fished here, if I look at a catch like this, I can make an assumption. It's an assumption. It's it's not a fact, but I mean you can make a good assumption. Firstly, whether the guy fished, whether he fished deep, over sixty meters or under sixty meters. Right? If he fished over sixty meters, some of the fish uh, swim bladder will pop. Right, no, the gilwek that we saw today, none of the swim bladders popped. Um, if it's a clever a commercial, he, he will push that swim bladder back, or he will cut the fish before he gives it. But um, yeah, so, uh, some of these fish were had had the intestines in, so you can make an assumption. Then you look at your half moon rock art, you look at your protea bream, you look at your nigger lips. Uh, these are all fish that I find to be uh, in a certain vicinity. Your captain finds, uh, I'll look at captain finds, I'll look at, here if the guy caught any 74s, uh, whether they caught any Natal races. Natal races is number one area to Glen Ashley, that area there. Um, your Nigger lips is the same area, the flats under underneath 60 meters. So, most of these fish are under 60 meters. Your half moon rock gods under 60 meters more. There's a lot of half moon rock god, then you know, and Pratia Brim, then you know it's south, south of the oil boy. And um, so, if the car puts a, put a catch through, you know, you know what he was fishing either south or north, and he was fishing underneath 60 meters or over 60 meters over 60 meters the indication would be the swim bladder will pop uh, under 60 meters no swim bladder popped and uh, then your direction your direction if there's protea beams hardly find protea beams on the, in the north you know very seldom uh, two or three protea beams it's a it's a definite indication that it's south yeah. so um You've got to attend to what you catch in certain areas. You know, your Englishman, 74s, uh, we release those things and, and so forth. So, you, you can make a good assumption if you see your cars, what's them. So, every day I watch the internet, all the fishing sites and so forth, to see, you know, what the different people caught. And, and um, then I can make an assumption, okay, this car fish there, that car fish there, and so forth. And, yeah, with, with that information, you know more or less before you go fishing uh, what your intention, where you would like to go and fish. Yeah. So, um, I would like to go Friday morning just to go run for a quick hill back. Um, but it doesn't seem like it seems to be going to be. Uh, Friday is not a good day. You know, most of the people are going to the mosque and so forth. Uh, but we're fishing Friday evening see the latest forecast even get better we're going to fish Saturday morning to Sunday evening and then Sunday Sunday evening <laughs> it's going to be uh, might be a little bit rough but yeah I've got a big boat you know, uh, advanced cars I'll take them that can handle it and we will just cut off of the amount of people maybe go five or six people out uh, Sunday evening but I hope that answer your question, how do I identify uh, where a person fished with looking at his catch. So it's plain and simple. You look at the species that's caught and whether the swim bladder. Swim bladder will give you the depth and um, certain species found in certain areas. You've got in take into account that they'll fish all the way from Durban south and they'll fish all the way from Durban north.